ที่จะบายสีให้น้องสันสันใช่ไหมอตเตอร์เบกิ We see Fei, the class president, addressing her classmates, explaining that each slip of paper in a box has a freshman's name on it. The goal is for each person to draw a name and become that freshman's secret caretaker, keeping their identity hidden until reveal day. She adds that their seniors created this activity to replace the old harsh soda system, focusing on equality instead. Earth, unimpressed, remarks that they don't need this game to get to know the freshmen. But Fei insists that everyone must participate, and that the number of freshmen matches the number of seniors, so no one will be left out. Earth counters that before organizing this, Fei should have asked for everyone's consent. To which Fei points out that no one else is objecting except him. An argument ensues, but Earth's friend Tong steps in to calm things down, urging them to chill. Earth, still irritated, snatches the box from Fei. Declaring that he'll take the box around so she can have some peace of mind. As he moves through the room, everyone draws a slip from the box, and finally, when Earth checks his slip, the name Sun is written on it. Later, a freshman named Noon asks Tong to sign her name list book. He agrees, but only if she shouts, "Tong is hot!" three times, which she does, and he signs her book. When Noon asks Earth for a signature, he refuses. Saying he didn't do it last year, and the world didn't end, she insists it's her last needed signature. To which Earth sarcastically tells her to shout, "Tong is hot!" until he says to stop. Tong steps in, calming Earth down and telling him to just sign the book. Just then, another freshman approaches Earth and asks for his name. Earth gives it, and to everyone's surprise, the boy pulls Noon aside and starts shouting, "Earth is hot!" Embarrassed, Earth watches as the boy returns and asks for his signature too. Earth asks for his name, and the boy replies, "Sun." After signing, Earth asks why he humiliated himself. And Sun responds that he wouldn't have if Earth hadn't given such a strange order in the first place. Later, they see posters that read "Sodus is over. Vote yes or no." Earth and Sun scan the QR code, and Earth immediately votes yes. Later, Noon and another girl excitedly show each other the gifts they received from their secret caretakers. Curious, Noon asks Sun if he's gotten anything from his caretaker. He replies, "Nothing yet." To which another girl jokes that maybe his caretaker doesn't like him. Trying to lighten the mood, Noon tells the girl not to tease him and suggests she go make up with him. The girl takes a box of noodles from Noon's gift and walks over to Sun, saying, "It's just a game, so don't take it personally." The next day, when they arrive at class, they find a book with a note attached, addressed to Sun from someone named Boon Chu. And one of the girls excitedly tells Sun that Boon Chu must be his secret caretaker. Curious, Tong asks Earth if Boon Chu is from their class, to which he says he doesn't know. Noon then asks, "What's with the red threads?" To which Sun says it might be part of the theme, explaining that they use red thread in the welcoming ritual. Earth, still curious, asks Tong, "Is it possible that one caretaker has two freshmen?" To which Tong says, "No way." Later. Noon asks Sun if he's finished, reminding him that it's almost nine o'clock and they need to attend the caretaker reveal. To which Sun tells them to go ahead, as he plans to stay a bit longer. After they leave, Sun writes on the back of a note requesting a Gothic art textbook. Meanwhile, Fei orders the lights to be turned off as the event is about to begin. As the lights go out, Earth notices a strange man holding a candle walking towards the class. The figure moves slowly. Approaching Sun from behind, but when Earth follows the figure into the classroom, he finds Sun there, who asks him, "What is he doing here?" Earth asks, "Did he see someone just come in? And was he holding a candle?" To which Sun asks, "What candle?" Earth glances around and notices a book, asking, "Did Boonchu give him this book?" Sun is surprised to see the book, and as he picks it up, he says, "Maybe because he just asked him for it." But when did he put it here? Earth wonders how Boonchu left the room and tells Sun that he thinks something is strange with Boonchu, advising Sun to stay away from him. Sun asks, "Are you always this cynical?" To which Earth responds, "A super nice caretaker doesn't exist." Sun replies, "Maybe they do, 
to which Earth is about to tell him that he is his caretaker, but is interrupted when Tong suddenly arrives, startling Earth. Later, Earth searches for Boonshu in the school directory and discovers that a senior named Boonshu had beaten a freshman to death before taking his own life out of guilt. Curious, Earth heads to the library to retrieve the 1996 class yearbook and learns that Boon Chu was in charge of the fraternity's hazing activities. As he reads, he suddenly sees the same eerie figure standing next to him and gets terrified by the sight. However, thinking it might be Tung playing a prank, Earth starts looking around for him. A short while later, he spots the figure again, and believing it to be Tung, he approaches. But when the figure turns around, Earth realizes it's not Tung. As he starts to back away, the figure says, I hate freshmen like you, and panicked, Earth runs away in fear. Meanwhile, the caretaker reveal event is underway, and all the freshman caretakers are present, except for Sun. After waiting for a while, Sun gets up and begins to leave, but Earth arrives and tells him that Boon Chu died 20 years ago, and he is his caretaker. Sun challenges him to show the slip with his name on it. Earth replies that it's just a piece of paper, which he threw in the trash. Sun asks, he threw his name in the trash, to which Earth confirms, saying he did it because he hates this stupid game. He then tells Sun that feelings of affection can't be forced, to which Sun responds that he knows he doesn't care about this, but he should at least consider other people's feelings. He adds that while Boon Chu may be strange or even dead, he takes better care of him than he does, and if it were up to him, he wouldn't want him as a caretaker either. Sun later finds a book with a note, tonight. A bless you at the welcoming ritual. Bring the red threads to Salem Apartments, room 404. Meanwhile, Earth searches for the slip in the trash can and eventually manages to find it. He then rushes out in search of Sun, but when he can't find him, he checks his phone and discovers information about Salem Apartments. Earth arrives at Salem Apartments and sees Sun entering the building, and he quickly follows him inside. He begins searching for Sun, and meanwhile, Sun arrives at room 404, where he overhears someone saying, Nant, I've brought you the books, then why are you doing this to me? After a while, suddenly, the door of the room opens and Sun enters the room. Inside, he finds his painting, the same one he was working on at school. And just then, an alarm clock starts ringing, which he quickly turns off. But suddenly, he hears the voice again, repeating the same words. Meanwhile, Earth gets tired of searching for Sun and is unaware that a boy is walking next to him in a very strange manner. Suddenly, he hears someone say, I told you I didn't want any caretaker, and asks his friends to come forward if they're with him on this. On the other hand, as Sun is about to exit the room, the lights go out and the door slams shut. He turns around and is terrified to see a demonic figure who says, Nant, get up. Such a light punishment. The figure, Boon Chu, then locks its red glowing eyes on Sun, and as it rises, its bones crackle ominously. And then, he asks Sun, are you Sun? Meanwhile, Earth has followed the voice and reached the boy, Nant, who begins hitting himself against the wall. Boon Chu tells Sun that he has been waiting to bless him with the welcoming ritual and beckons him to come closer. Scared, Sun approaches and asks to see the slip with his name on it. Boon Chu moves closer, saying he has been waiting to perform this ritual with him, but Sun replies that someone has already told him he is not his caretaker. Angrily, Boon Chu addresses someone else, demanding he stop interfering as he is ruining the welcoming ritual. Sun asks who he is talking to, but the figure threatens, if you don't stop, I will have to punish you. Terrified, Sun watches as books fall off a shelf, and Earth sees Nant being violently beaten by an unseen force. Boon Chu then removes his mask and begins to levitate in the air, suspended by a red thread, and he declares that he won't allow anyone to ruin his ritual. Sun tries to flee, but Boon Chu stops him and pulls him back towards him. He then takes the red thread from Sun's hand and starts tying it around his wrist. Just then, Earth arrives, attempting to pull Sun away. But the door shuts and Earth realizes that Boon Chu has made Sun his puppet. Boon Chu exclaims, Sun is now mine. And when Earth tries to escape, he finds the door won't budge. Boon Chu then screams, compelling Sun to strangle Earth. And Earth manages to grab a pencil, but hesitates to hurt Sun. 
Instead, he pushes him down and burns the red thread with a candle. As the thread burns, Boon Chu screams in agony, and Earth watches as he is engulfed in flames. The fire spreads throughout the room, and Sun breaks free from the possession. However, Boon Chu continues to laugh, despite being burned extinguishing the flames and accusing them of ruining the activity he started. He repossesses Sun and forces him to strangle Earth again, but Earth breaks the thread, declaring that Sun is under his care, and with this, Boon Chu disintegrates into ashes. When they finally emerge from the room, it is morning, and when Sun asks Earth why he helped him, Earth replies, because he cares about him. Now, as they leave the building, Earth is shocked to hear Sun humming the same tune that Boon Chu was humming. And as Sun turns to him, the story ends here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the chills, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a scare. Until next time, stay spooky.